We good? Yeah, we're good. Sweet. Welcome to Balls Deep, the CBMPC podcast where we talk airsoft, gameplay, action, adventures, misadventures, shenanigans, and reviews. And we'll probably talk about some news at some point in there as well. Warning. The Balls Deep podcast may contain language unsuitable for younger or more sensitive viewers. We swear. Sometimes quite often. I'm Magaz. I'm Elliot. And we're going to get straight on with the news. Yeah, crack on. So I'm going to touch briefly on a story that I talked about recently. And I think it's episode... Touched briefly. <clears throat> Carry on. Touched briefly. Canoodled with it. I took it to bed. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I did. So tornado grenades, right? I'm sure if you've seen the other podcast by now, you appreciate and understand my feelings for these plastic bastards. Yeah. So... Airsoft Innovations have created the Tornado Grenade. Just to briefly recap on what I've already said, I think the specifically the timed Tornado Grenades can eat a bag of dick. They are one of the worst things ever. 80 quid for something that never, ever, ever works. As it should. But yeah, it kind of works. That one time where I told a marshal to go in and he went in and I threw it in. Everybody scattered. They came back. They came back. Then it got him. The only time it's ever worked. So, anyway... Airsoft Innovations have released a new version of the Tornado Grenade called the Cyclone. Hmm. Is it Cyclone? Cyclone? Smaller than... No, it is called the Cyclone. It's not called a hur- Hurricane? No. no, no. Cyclone. In actual weather terms, is a tornado bigger than a Cyclone? Because the tornado is bigger than the Cyclone. Okay. I will Google that. That's, yeah. is it, is... I don't know. Anyway, it's not that important. I'll... Yeah. So, basically, the Cyclone Grenade is a smaller, more compact version with a refined operating mechanism yep. than the Tornado. It's impact, so it, it goes off. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> Point of me. Sorry, not, just eating not, pizza. Not, not so hot on the, the time job, if we, we like the impact yeah. ones. The impact ones, I've been killed by one. Not too bad. So, the Tornado, the Tornado, the Cyclone. Cyclone. It's a smaller version that apparently is easier to load. There's still a really big fannying about. You've got to do resetting a thing and a thing and some stuff and Jeez. things. Yeah. So, oh, dude, I want some of that Fentiman's Orange and Mandarin Seville di- Jigger. It's one, of the, <laughs> it's one of the best drinks ever. What? I th- I'm pretty sure that is what it's called. Orange and Mandarin Seville Jigger. Yeah, try Mo- it. Moving smoothly on. I'll put a picture of it in. How? Yeah. How? Right. <laughs> just uh, look what you're doing. Just scratching yourself with a gun. Anyway, <laughs> it's not loaded. I'm already safe. What the fuck are you doing? So, don't shine that crazy rapey light in my eyes. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. So basically, it's a smaller, updated version of the tornado grenade, and from the videos I've seen, it looks like it works, but. I will stress that they are all the videos I've seen are retailers who are obviously trying to peddle their wares. Yeah, you want so, well, you want to see some play, a proper play review. reviews. Yeah, someone who owns it, lives with it, breaks kills it, and, with it. Yeah. So with the tornado grenade, when I when it first came out, all the videos were the same. They were all like, "This is the best thing ever," because I'm Richard Nixon, and that's that's all they all said. Which, Slow motion. BBs <laughs> like that so it made me buy one 80 quid if short it was in here we go fuck off <laughs> 80 quid fuck off. I'll put that clip in it's fuck fucking off. beautiful isn't it <laughs> but yeah I don't know if they're gonna work and I don't know if they're gonna take off that well over here yeah obviously we've, we've, got, we've got all kinds of pyros over we've here. got chemical burning pyros BFGs VTGs Dynatex all that sort of stuff because mm-hmm. we use a lot of real man's pyros yeah America and overseas in some places use like the Oshi Booms, the these Oshi Booms. <laughs> Fucking love that name. Um, what's the other thing called? That other one, the the name will come to me, and I will just shout it out at some point okay. through the show. Okay. So basically, they use a lot of really crap pyros yeah. that aren't essentially pyros they, co- they just call them distraction devices and a lot of places don't actually count them as kills they just count them as distractions the unless point? it actually goes off and something comes out like a tornado grenade right, with BBs okay. then they, they don't count it I don't get the idea I'm not 
Okay, so they're just using Anyway. Right, yeah. The Cyclone is $40, so I might pick one up, is what I'm getting at. Yeah. I might pick one up, might do a review, and then I'll put it in a cupboard next to the Tornado Grenade, never to be used again, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be shit. Anyway, moving swiftly on from the news. Sweet. I might, now I could talk. Yeah, I might get some more news topics next time, not just one. Yeah. But you just desed me, Jesus Christ. Like, me and Des were <laughs> doing this, and I flashed the strobe accidentally, and he went, I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> no, this. I'll put it down. Anyway. We've got people outside the studio. Scallies. Okay. Yeah. So we've actually got a viewer question today. We're gonna we'll spend more of the time on this yes. viewer question. But we'll still we've got two main topics. So the first main topic, which is something I've been thinking about today. Dream Airsoft site. So no holds barred, it can be another planet if you want, it can be under the sea, it can be anything. Your dream airsoft site. Well, obviously, to start off with, I'm going to say Woodland. Right. Because Woodland's best. Hashtag gay. Well, it's not. Not the good kind of gay. So, I'm talking like Northern Scotland, pine trees, concrete bunkers, going a bit Return of the Jedi. I want Endor. <laughs> e- yeah, I want Ewok villages. See, that would be rad as fuck. That would. That would be amazeballs. You could have, one, you could have like the sort of insurgent sort of Ewok guys yes. in the trees and then you can have the can military have the, group have, yeah. in the bunkers and then have this big sort of milsim operation big all, mincing all, operation all, on and all, all the Ewok guys are all running AKs and yeah. dirty looking rifles and they've, they've got some like special operations contractors to help them and they're all wearing Airtax field green with <laughs> <laughs> like Gucci mag players and shit yeah, dude. Or with blue baseball caps and tinted... <laughs> Yellow yeah. tinted glasses. Yeah. yeah. Sweet, we should make this happen. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd have vehicles as well there. That's, yeah. Star Wars themed vehicles or legit vehicles? Legit like, vehicles. I mean, who wouldn't love like a... Some technicals for the Ewoks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toyota pickup with a dish come on the back. <laughs> the Ewok hanging off it. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously it'd be an airsoft on suit. Yep, 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 yep. No, dude, it's woodland. It'd be that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Automatic because CQB oh, sucks. Oh, I forget. I miss those days sometimes, like running an AK doing like thirty odd rounds a second, like, <laughs> and then the magazine, like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> See, do you remember back when airsoft was just an absolute rate of fight, a rough race? Yeah. And hence, everybody was like, hence why that gun over there existed. <laughs> <laughs> For record, is pointing at his SPR. Yep. Which is broken because I put a turbo monster in it, which killed fucking everything. Yeah, I mean, I've been there as well with my AK. I had an AK that had been through many iterations, but the the final iteration of this one, it had a turbo motor in it and like short stroke piston and everything was, it even had like a weaker spring, so it would cycle faster. Massive, massive, rapey, rapey battery on the bike. Yeah, this pre-lipo, so it was... Did you have it in like a drug enough stock? Yeah, I had, a, I had a drug enough stock on it and I had the battery in like the hollow of the stock because yeah. it wouldn't fit in my actual thingy stock. <laughs> Fucking pain in the ass. So then I had this big stupid battery in there and then a World War One leg putty around it. So yeah, and it would... <laughs> I'll find some footage and just put like the rapey rapey <laughs> in there. That reminds me, I saw a picture earlier of me at Ambush with a P90 and a big bat just, <laughs> just taped, taped to the side of it. Now, I would not do that now with a lipo battery because one straight round and... <laughs> Come on, fire! Is it, is it red tape? Red as well? tape, right? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth, man. Yeah. So, your dream house offside. My dream house offside. Now, some of this is going to touch on the viewer's question. So, we'll... Well, mine will <laughs> touch on the viewer's question a little bit. But yours just touched it. Mine's like... All right, okay. Right, but... So, keeping with the kind of movie... There are some pretty... Oh, my God, I just thought of another one. No. Whoa! Excited. So many thoughts have just gone through my mind. What are you? 
Tell me. Tell me shut up. This is this is me. <laughs> Listening. Being attentive. Right, so you're all familiar with the movie The Rock. That is not distracting <laughs> at all. So Alcatraz did, but yeah. Alcatraz as it is in The Rock, because while I'm did it that you were saying a while back that they did film on the rock film, on, film, Alcatraz, film on Alcatraz, but yeah. maybe they used some creative cinematography yeah. to make it look a little more exciting. But yeah, the rock. Because can you imagine it? You've got the special forces team, like the SEALs, mm-hmm. and then you've got the Marines and a big Milsom event, loads of objectives and shit. Yeah, it could be absolutely incredible. No, I'd, I'd agree with you on that. That's really yeah, cool. Man. Also, one that I just thought of then. <laughs> Sorry, I was nearly sick then. Oh, hang on a minute. Just just cover me a minute. <laughs> okay. Um I'd like to bring up the aliens. God, I'm back. Aliens, yeah. Yeah. That was one that I was thinking. Okay. Hadley's Hope. Mm. Definitely. With the big uh ridiculous tractors as well, with the big things. Yeah. But also the M five seven seven APC, you'd have to have one of them. Coming in a UD four L dropship. Everybody with pulse rifles. M56 smart guns. We'll have to work in some kind of... Uh... Yeah. yeah. Do you remember when Sci-Fi Weekend and me and Des were like... I was just as a Marine and he was Ripley with Newt on him. Yeah. We both had the app on our phones. That... And we're like walking about with pulse rifles. And... <laughs> and then you could like touch it and it's sort of like... They're going to the goddamn wall! <laughs> 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 that was such an amazing... That's going on this weekend, man. Do you have money? I know, I'm gutted. <laughs> so, yeah, had this up, it'd be really rad. Yeah. Obviously, sans xenomorphs. Maybe clean it up a little bit. <laughs> Just a bit. Uh, no feral kids running about in the vents because they don't wear eye pro and you don't want to have no. that sort of insurance waiver bullshit. Feral? Yeah. You know, like... like, uh, like oh, my God! I was just going to say, like, the kid in Mad Max, and I'm like... Mad Max! Mad Max. Oh my god, like, yes. beyond, not Beyond Thunder. Uh, Mad Max 2, Road Warrior, the best Mad Max yeah. film. Although, Fury Road's fucking rad. I've still not seen Fury Road. Don't, oh don't hate me. Don't hate me. It's on, it's on my to do list. Oh, it's on my to do list. that film, man. Yeah. It's balls deep. So, there's a lot of flames and stuff in Mad Max. Yeah, but. Sorry about that, the camera just caught out. I had to just quit the run up and stitch it back together. But yeah, so. Cars with weapons on in yep. the desert. Yep. That'd be beautiful. I'm really hoping we got most of that conversation before. Yeah. So I looked up at it and it was going and then I came back and said something and looked back and it had stopped. So I think we got it. <laughs> I hope but so. anyway, so aside from Mad Max, the one I was going to say, mm-hmm. Minas Tirith. Fucking Lord of the Rings, you know, the big white. Remind me. Which? Minas Tirith. Oh my God, dude. Where's my fucking phone up there? What is in the in- uh, Elven. <clears throat> No, that's no, Rivendell. Rivendell, sorry. So Minas Tirith is the one that they defend in Return of the King. Big white building, it's like levels and levels and levels. How the hell did you spell it? Minas Tirith. Minas Tirith. Straight, you'll know as soon as you see it. This not Helm's is, Deep, is it? No, the, not Helm's Deep, it, but that's big, pretty right. Is it the big city? Yeah, yeah, that thing. Oh, yeah. How amazing would that be? That would be cool. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... Kind of, I don't know, but on a more realistic dream, uh, just a really amazing CQB site. Woodland. Yeah, <laughs> you love Woodland, but okay, a mixed, oh dude, RF35 is pretty good. I think we should go down there at some point and check that out. Mm-hmm. I went and urbexed it a few years back before it was there was any talk of it being an airsoft yeah. site. And then first and only took it over and called it the Armory. And it is kind of sparse woodland then kind of like imagine on top of coppice yeah but with military buildings in there as well oh, that's cool so it's like a, a really big mixed bag of shit i want to go back down there yeah but maybe not in the middle of like july or <clears> whenever <throat> we went because black kit i oh don't know i feel really quite sick after that pizza black kit your armor plates i didn't have my plates in my life. all right uh yeah it was just far too hot and we all nearly died <laughs> really good site though but back then that was the first day there wasn't a lot of cover, a lot of, so it wasn't that great, but it yeah. still had a lot of potential, and it's. I it's think bad no, obviously. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, digressing there. Moving swiftly on to our second topic. What is your stupidest airsoft moment? 
we kind of briefly covered this in the the test podcast, but I've not actually released that, so you guys haven't heard this yet. <laughs> I've got some pretty good airsoft moments. Stupidest airsoft moments. Yeah. So either stupidest thing you've done that's resulted in either killing yourself or your teammates or a weapon breakage or weapon failure injury that's resulted in near-death experiences or loss of sexual activity um i tripped over last time we were at swat oh that was yeah it was beautiful yeah. but it that hurt a lot <clears throat> um i've story topped that straight off the bat okay go on <laughs> so twice so back in i want to say 2002 man this this is before me yeah this dragon valley airsoft so I actually found some pictures from this site tonight. I will put one up. You'll see me in the background wearing urban camo, a hoodie with a tack vest over it, just a DPM cap on back with some shooting glasses with a shotgun. And it, it, we've been wearing like kit all day. We're roasting. We've just stripped down and got changed. And we're all just like loosey-goosey. Anyway, so that kid you see in that picture just then with a shotgun looking the wrong way from the camera like a dickhead. Basically, the site was an old... It was, it was called Boys Village. Yeah. If you Google Boys Village, Wales. It was like an old kind of punting sort of thing, but yeah. I believe it was aimed at miners who worked in the local mine so they could stay there with their families and have some fun. Anyway, there was a big gym, like a sports hall sort yeah. of thing. like the size, Basically, just the size of like a tennis court or a basketball court. It had some bleachers going up. You had to like jump up this like shelf sort of thing onto the bleachers. And then the bleachers led into what was a covered swimming pool. Now, if you look at it now, it's just an empty... The roof's gone. Yeah. Oh, I've seen so, that picture recently. Yeah. Yeah, I put it up on the thing because we were talking about this the other day. So, we were in the gym. Last game of the day, it was pitch black. They were, sm- they were using these big military smokes. Pull pin, oh. red face with orange... <laughs> You know which ones. Mate, if that my, smoke... My that, stories have just... That very smoke that you're thinking about is yeah. one that I got from that site on that day. God. So, massive... These ones, Some of them were electrically detonated, so you had to touch them on a 9-volt battery and go... <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, we were defending this gym. There were an entrance from the swimming pool, an entrance from the bottom end, an entrance from the top end, and we were just in it. I think... I want to say that they couldn't come through this bottom end, but I can't be entirely sure. There was some random sporadic cover through here. And no, 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 this time they could come through that bottom end. I'm mixing two different games up here. So there were all this cover in there, and we had to defend it as long as we could. Mm-hmm. All this smoke came in, it was pitch black. All this fire's coming in, they're all using tracers. I'm like, this is my first CQB experience. And all shit brought loose. It was full automatic as well. Best. So I'm like, fuck this, I'm getting out of this gym because the whole team is fucked. So I got onto the bleachers, there's fire coming at it because they could sort of see what I was running. Yeah. So I ran, I'm like ducking and thinking, fuck, 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 fuck. As I crossed the threshold into the room where the pool was, my brain went, hey, wait a minute, dude, there's a fucking swimming pool in here. Watch what you're treading, right? I'm like, yeah. All right, brain. Cheers, man. Thanks for the intel. I will bear that in. Straight into it. There was like, a moment where I stepped, and you know with that sinking feeling where you think like, there should be floor here. <laughs> so I fell, but then kind of like rolled, and the first thing to hit the floor was my head. So it was kind of like the mid to deep end, and it's probably only about this far, but that's still a long fall way to head fall. first. It's fucking fair far. So definitely gave myself concussion. I was out for an undisclosed amount of time, but it was probably kind of like that. Yeah. And then I remember searing pain scrambling about looking for my shotgun picking it up i'm like oh i feel like i'm gonna be sick and then opening my eyes being sat on this floor collecting my thoughts and all the smoke had come in because they, they were coming in through all the doors and there was smoke yeah. everywhere the smoke was coming out of the door that i'd come through and going over the pool yeah but it wasn't quite coming down into the pool so i was essentially sat in this spooky weird little room with orange clouds for a ceiling, <laughs> feeling like I was stunned. Like, I do not feel well. I feel like I'm going to be sick. What the hell is this going on here? And then they came and go, came in here, came in here. Started firing into the pool. So there's, it's dark. 
There's orange clouds. Your concourse to fuck. Concourse, and there's green fucking tracers coming down. I'm like, nah, I'm getting the hell out of here. This is <laughs> this is some fucking day tripper sort of bullshit going on here. Got lit up, climbed out, just went and passed out in the safe zone, and I was not well at all. And I had the, the whole drive back. Basically, we went down with two guys who we knew from this. Well, in fact, three guys we knew from Ambush. They drove down because they were like, they were like probably my age now, but then. Yeah. And me, Coop, Coop's cousin who turned up at his house one, that night for no good reason went, oh, I'll come with you. <laughs> like, fair enough, right? <laughs> then Jay and Dave, Slickshot Dave from Desi. Mm-hmm. Like, we were all, so that's six of us, five, six, that's seven of us. I can't count. Somebody count how many people I've just said. <laughs> So there were a lot of us, all like 18 year old or whatever, in the back of a Fiat Doblo van, driving from Blackpool oh, I know this story. to South Wales. Ridiculous. But yeah, the way back, I was like out cold because I had concussion. I had so many like headache tablets and stuff just wear in the back. It's horrible. That totally reminds me of two incidents i've had with small grades i've not been allowed to touch one ever oh, since God. if you just hold if you keep talking i'm just gonna grab my hood yeah I'm freezing. um the first one was 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 the park gate one the first one or was the one at home the first one um the, I, ca- I can't remember it doesn't really matter anyway so I there's the one at home was the first one yeah because that was no no the one at home was way after yeah because it was sat yeah so anyway we just finished the game at park gate and we, had, the, we hadn't even finished the game. It was like it, was it? We'd just gone back to the car. Yeah, standing was having a, a little bit of a sulk, sat in the car as usual. Um, he had, he had, he had the. My own fixed he things had, rubbish. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's not real. My own much not quite as good as it should be. I'm <laughs> white and stupid. What? <laughs> standing. Right. Um, <laughs> and he had the window down. Really? He, was, he was just talking to us through. Yeah, I'll be standing through like this much window. And I can't remember who got it out. Someone got a smoke grenade. You, you just got it out. You went, yeah. you, yeah, you um, did it. <laughs> he was sat in my car, which was a pretty small car with this much window open. And I just lit it and threw it in. And he was like, what the fuck are you doing? So meanwhile, we were all on the doors as well. Yeah, like not leaning against the out. doors. And he's like, oh, trying to get out. But I love that at one point he just accepted his fate. Yeah. <laughs> he picked up the smoke grenade. and smoke. he's like, yeah. Just every, I was sat in a passenger seat on the way back, and yeah, everything the, was just the handy holdy thing to close the door was, was melted. melted. <laughs> everything in the car was, was orange, orange, and it stunk like burnt and cordite. And you need to put an, a, a photo in here. I've got a picture yeah. of it. I'll put it. Up. It's really super low res, but I'll put yeah. it up. The the other incident I had with a smoke grenade was proving my gas wrong. Proving my gas wrong, which was did I think we were at ambush and I picked up a smoke. We you, we bought some smokes yeah. at Ambush. It was like your first was like first proper game. Proper wasn't game, it? yeah. <laughs> and at some point during the day, this smoke had lost a striker cap, and I was like, oh, we can't really use it, but you know, I'm going to keep it as a memento. So it was in my bedroom for fucking ages, and it's one really heavy night out in Aki. Um, I ended it's, up in it's when I was I was running a bar. Yeah, I ended up in, in his yeah. bar, and at like stupid o'clock in the morning, the lights came on. I was the only guy left on the dance floor. And he's like, dude, you're a mess. I'm going to take you home. I was like, mm, fine. Mm. So he, he takes me home. He, he carries me to my bedroom. And he's like, dude, look at that. I was like, oh, I smoke grenade, didn't he? No, like, no, it started up. I, I weren't going to come in. You were going to go in on your own. You're like, you're like, got any work here, 47? Do you want to have a look at it? I'm like, well, yeah, of course I do. Is that? So no, we, came in, that. Yeah, we came in to look at your AK. Okay. And we were sat on the edge of your bed. Now we're holding this AK. And you went, so I found the other day. I'm like, go on. You went, <laughs> and this is from my very first airsoft game. Is that, I'm really hoping it's still recording. This yeah. is my very first airsoft game. I'm like, sweet. And, and then he, you said, you know, I it's said, completely useless. Yeah, you, you can't use it, Dom. It's not, unless you find another striker cab, it's fucked. And it's like, to light it with a lighter. I'm like, no, dude, I've seen loads of people trying to light these with lighters. <laughs> I'm like, fine then. I'm like, no, dude. So this is where I started recording. Yeah. You're like, stop. Let me record this. Yeah, obviously, as any good friend would. Yeah. Not 
discouraged me from burning my house down. I lit this fucking smoke grenade. He was like, Psh! I was like, ah! blew the thing out. And I was like, this is a really bad idea. Shouldn't take it further. And I was like, should we take it further? I'm like, this is a really bad idea. You shouldn't take it further. Yeah. So I lit the thing again, tried to blow it out. It didn't go out. So I'm trying to pump, pump it into my carpet. And <laughs> Thick, it, 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 viscous purple yeah. smoke in a yeah. second had yeah. killed his entire... <laughs> It's like, it was like a box bedroom yeah. sort of thing as well, wasn't it? It went not very yeah, big. Yeah, I'm trying to st- jab the thing out of the carpet. The carpet's now on fire. I'm like choking to death. He's choking to death. The carpet's on fire. He just wails this smoke grenade into his neighbour's front garden. His grass was purple when <laughs> I went outside. It's purple. You know, my, oh, my wall was purple. My curtains were purple. The fucking <laughs> carpet there, was, was on we- fire. He's like, we can't open the door because... The smoke will go through the house. You're going to have to climb out the bedroom window. I'm like, ah, fuck off. You fit right out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You? Fell out of your window. It was fine. But we're in your room for ages with a window open, just whacking we, we, shit like, oh, 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 smoke. There's so much. There's so much. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> Lung damage of like a oh, thousand God, get cigarettes. Purple snot. Yeah. Oh, oh my dear. god, beautiful moment. Mate, I was fucking yeah, rough. I, I, that's the next definitely day. your stupidest day of moment. I think that wins. Yeah. We should have some kind of prize or some shit for that. <laughs> what's, what's the I, prize that we give complete fucking idiots? Golden Cock Award. No. Darwin Award? Darwin Award, yeah. yeah. I deserve a Darwin no, Award. Th- that is if you either kill yourself or severely <laughs> injure yourself. Sorry. That may cause death to a lesser human. Right. Yeah. Well, I nearly fucking killed us. You're fucking yeah, you did, man. I was coughing up all sorts of random shit for weeks. Horrible stuff. You got any more stupidest ass off moments? Um, I've got the time where I broke my knee in the same gym that I gave myself concussion. Uh. Pardon me. Super short version. It was the second time I went to Dragon Valley. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went down with. It was me, Plummer. Oh my god. Right. I'm going to postpone that story for a minute because I'm telling the, the there's a story that leads up to this. So, me, one of our friends, a teammate who I'm not going to mention his name because I'm going to mention something. Well, you could say his name now and then you can just bleep it out. I can't be asked bleeping it out. So, I'm just going to okay. call him. I'm going to call him. What's a really obvious name? But I'm going to call him Dave. Okay. In fact, I'll tell you a funny story later. <laughs> so, me, Dave, and Plumber went down I know who it is it went down to Dragon Valley and Dave's dad we, basically we wanted him to drive us down and he said well why don't we drive down the day before I'll bring the caravan we'll stop on a campsite close to the site in a caravan and then you guys can go on the day and I'll visit friends we're like yeah sweet so we drove us down uh, we had a bit of a party on the campsite and then we all went and got, basically got in our bunks so I was as you walked mm. into the caravan, I was on this like double bed on the immediate right. Plumber was on, like a single bunk above me, and Dave and his dad, who we will call Mister X, mm-hmm. were basically on the couch bed sort of things at the other end. Yeah. So it was about it was about four o'clock in the morning. You know when something stirs you from your slumber because you can feel like a looming presence over you. <laughs> so there was this echelon of pale moonlight cascading through the crack in the curtains and I opened my eyes to see <laughs> Mr. X standing there stark bollock naked <laughs> pissed as a brick he was leathered sleepwalking <laughs> and then the next thing I hear is you know this piss hitting floor so I jump as far back on this thing as I can like pin myself against the bulkhead of the caravan and I'm like <laughs> no 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 fuck this <laughs> <laughs> and there's just this stream of liquid cable coming out of Mr. X all over the floor. And I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then he stopped, stood there for a second, went, whoa. <laughs> Opened the caravan door and just took the fuck off. Closed the door behind him. So I'm like, led there against the back of the caravan, like, is, is he coming back? Is he coming back? What's going on? It had been about five minutes and nothing had happened. Dave and Plumber were fast asleep. So they had known nothing. So I got my flashlight out, had a look. Sure enough, massive puddle on the floor. <laughs> Plumber's trainers right in the middle of it. <laughs> so, so I'm like, oh my God, this is the best thing that's ever happened. So I jump up and I'm like, Plumber, Plumber. Plumber's like, let me get away like, Plumber, wake up. He's like, what, man? I'm like, you got any spare trainers? He's like, 
what am I? No, dude, do you have any spare trainers for tomorrow? He's like, I won't fit you, man. I'm bigger than you. I'm like, no, dude, seriously, do you have any spare trainers? He's like, <laughs> the door fucking swings open again. I just drop the flashlight, punch up into the bulkhead again. I'm like, please don't piss on me. Please don't piss on me. <laughs> Mr. X just walks in and just falls flat. The door was still fucking open. Just falls flat on the bunk, straight asleep. So I like, pull this door closed and I just lay for like two hours. <laughs> Just because we're getting up at like six, I'm like pressed up against the bulkhead of this car. And I'm like, nope, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> so we get up in the morning and we all needed a piss. So me, Dave, and Plumber get up and we're like walking to these like toilet and shower blocks on the campsite. Halfway there, I'm like, oh my God, dude, the most incredible thing happened last night. I started telling the story. Got to the bit where I'm explaining the intricate details about this naked guy. And Plumber went, my <laughs> shoes are wet. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, oh no way. So Plumber walked all the way there in pissy shoes. I'm like, oh, fuck it, man. I'll tell you the story when we get back. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, God. But yeah, I think that that was one of the most amazing things to happen pre-Airsoft game ever. So, uh, yeah. The stupidest moment that happened after that was I was in that gym again. I tripped over something. Fell, basically, we were defending the gym again. Same sort of situation. Last game of the day, pitch black. I can... No, no, we were all just in there, hunkered down. Enemies came in from the shower block end and the swimming pool end. Yeah. So we had this idea that if it got down to like the last few men standing, we'd go back to the Alamo, which was just this storage cupboard at the back end of the... The hall. The hall. Yeah. You know, like it was like raised off the ground. So we... Alamo, Alamo, get to the Alamo! So we're like, fucking Alamo, we must be fucked. So we were like pepper potting back. And as I'm running... I trip over this fucking 3v2 or some shit that's like stuck to the floor. <laughs> Fall. Like the, the meat flaps it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fall flat on the floor. The first thing that hits the floor is my knee. But it hit what I'm assuming is the only nor I break in Wales. <laughs> and straight away, like I dropped, I ditched the MP5. I felt, and you know when you break something and straight away you can feel mm. this like. You know that shit's bad. It's like. You're like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> so I'm like, the marshal's like, two minutes remaining. And I'm like, fuck, fuck. So I'm scrambling and grabbing the MP5. I'm, so the mag had come out, so I'm like scrambling for that as well. This guy came running over, shit, man, I saw you fall. You're right, you're right. I'm like, no, I think my knee's broken. He's like, shit, I'll get a marshal. I'm like, no, no, dude, dude, there's fucking two minutes. We can win this. <laughs> and he's like, what? And I'm like, just drag me. <laughs> so he grabbed my vest from behind and just pulled me behind. I'm like, for a second, this agonizing pain kicked in, and I'm like, this shit's real. <laughs> it just fucking clicked, and all this fucking adrenaline just went, boof, right through my body. And I was like, Hudson at the fucking end of Alien, screaming, fuck you, fuck you, oh, you too, come on, motherfucker, yeah, you too, are oh, you want <laughs> fuck you. And he fucking dragged me into his cupboard, just stuck me in the corner, and I'm like, <laughs> you're just freaking out. <laughs> Cheers, man. I just fucking sat there in this corner, and then they closed the door over, and they were defending it, and he's like, 30 seconds, and then it hit me like, Oh, I'm okay now. Everything's fine. Agony! <laughs> it's just fucking immediate pain once I realised that the game was over. But luckily, Mr. X, who brought us down and pissed in plumber's shoes, is a paramedic. He's like, yeah, that looks like some kind of... Shorty will probably know the technical term for this. Some kind of breakage with yeah. uh, Fenergal Hagner. Hmm. Latin. Anyway, so... That sounds like my car. Do you want to have a quick peep? No, it's 400 quid. Your gun's in the back of that car. No, they're, no, they're right over there. Fair point. One of them's there. <laughs> oh, yeah. You so if the guns are in the thing, uh, you know, nearly double the value of it. <laughs> Carry on. So he just straps my leg up. I get to ride all the way back in the front of the car, seat back uh, on the craziest painkillers ever. It was fucking beautiful. So Plumber and Dave are in the back like, trying to sleep and I'm just like yeah man it's fucking amazing <laughs> like, the whole journey felt about 25 minutes I, I had to go to the hospital the next day and I, ended, I couldn't walk for fucking months after that it was fucking bad it was proper broken but that's definitely the stupidest thing my last stupid airsoft moment would be 
um, <clears throat> the morning after the night game at Parkgate. <laughs> An- another the whole night game. The whole night game was. We'll, we'll have to do. A, we'll get Plumber and Scott. Yeah, and we'll, we, we'll we do need a podcast. to do a full on reminiscing of yeah, that yeah. evening. But um, let's just say it was a bit of a heavy drinking session <clears throat> that evening, and the morning after, I think I had eaten really badly as well. We were all eating really badly. All eating really badly, <clears throat> drunk loads of fucking strongbow. And the morning after... When he says he drunk loads of strongbow, he was crawling through the woods with a tight vest. Yeah. No magazines. No magazines in it. Plumber had my magazines. I just had strongbow. <laughs> this is like... So, for the record, we, we don't recommend you no, drink no. and drink and soft. No. And it, it, it was against but the site rules. Uh, the marshals did not allow it. And the plumber in the plumber Psst. the marshal was like what was that and plumber was like I said Psst, I love you I love you <laughs> right so very messy evening the morning after I weren't feeling hot at all you weren't and looking at one no. I woke up in a tent next to him he was green <laughs> spooning a fucking support weapon <laughs> uh, we, we went out in the first game, in the very first game, Master Buck was like, hey, you shouldn't be doing this. Hey, boy. And I got a surprise for you. I, I farted and... Oh, I'm man. sure we've got this on video. Yeah. I will scour through if the footage could, and I was... It out, I farted and I, I shit my pants. Just, just not two and words I'm pretty it. sure, because you had the Arcos on and you're like... Oh, uh, I think I've just shit myself. I, I shit myself and it was like, five seconds to the start of the game. And I was like... Oh, no, no, I'm just shit my pants. <laughs> and, and then I got the smell of it. I was like, Whoa! and then I threw up in my mask as well. That was <coughs> fucking beautiful. You're yeah. kind of like edging towards the end of the frame. Sorry. Yeah. Some mics here. So, yeah, I think we've had enough <coughs> stupidest moments, but I, I will guarantee you we're going to get Plumber and Scott down and we'll yeah, have a, yeah, we need, we need a some... round table sort of situation. We'll, we'll just reminisce about that. Yeah. And maybe about Ambush. Yeah. Christmas game at Ambush. Yeah, good times. Anyway, this is probably the longest episode ever, although there is some of that that gets cut out. Yeah, you'll be cutting quite a bit out. So, questions. We actually got our first question today, asked by a viewer. A chap called the Couch Bear. Show's out, man. Big steeds to the Couch Bear, yo. So he says, what video game story, mission, or concept would you most like to see as used as an Airsoft game scenario? The Division. It's it's current. It's right now. I haven't and played it. I've seen videos oh, and stuff, but oh, it's awesome! It's just New York. You didn't even let me finish going, the sentence there. It, it, New- I hate it. That's why I was. I was like, getting, getting close to the mic, so I'm going to be louder and talk over you. I've just brought my mic stand. Oh dear. Literally, so, yeah. Just- yeah, New York virus fucked everyone up. Martial law, gangs roaming around. Oh. I am paying attention. Yeah, yeah I fixed oh, it. Yeah, the division would be perfect. I'd just. No. Right. <clears throat> One that I'd like to see is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Mm-hmm. Not just the whole game. There's two missions in particular that are my favourite missions. I think one of them is in an expansion pack. One of them, basically, it's a sub pen. And you've got to arrive at the sub pen and plant charges on these nuclear submarines. Yeah. So you've got a sneak, and there's some radio comms <clears> towers, <throat> some shit you got to blow up as well. So you're coming in like a PBX boat, and then you've got to like sneak around the docks, and it's fucking amazing. I love using it with a Heroes Unleashed mod with an SR25 SD, and then a Bison PP19 SD. I can do it with just one guy, just sneaking about like, fucking amazing. But that with say 50 like opposition just patrolling the yeah. area <clears throat> and then like a small like cbmpc size squad going in to take those guys out yeah that'd be amazing but the other one that i love is the you've got to break into a prisoner of war camp and capture some downed pilots and this is one we used to run like we used to bring all the laptops around and run land games in my kitchen like four laptops running heroes unleashed yeah. ghost recon and we'd play just this mission it is amazing. And they'd be like, me... Who were there? They were me, Alan, standing... <coughs> pardon me. Somebody else. There were four of us. But it were fantastic. Like, proper, like, talking tactically and shit. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> clearing through. And then 
Ah, oh, dude, yeah, that mission is fantastic. Cause you've got to come in up through a control tower, down, and then sneak around all these huts like some World War Two prisoner of war camp sort of thing. Mm. And miss. Oh my god! Two more games that I'd love to see as well. We're going way, way back. You know, it's like all my games are like pre two thousand. That's like two thousand two. Some at Ghost Recon. Yeah, <clears throat> even further back. Delta Force Two. Uh, I played the demo for Delta Force 2 about 150 times <laughs> because I had the demo before I got the full game yeah. back when demos happened were a thing and yeah. you used to buy a magazine like, yeah, yeah I got it on a magazine <clears throat> it was like Delta Force 2 is coming out in two weeks here's the demo I'm like holy shit it's like the Resident Evil 2 10 minute demo I could talk an entire podcast about that 10 minute demo <laughs> shit me anyway so the mission was there were Alpha Team Bravo Team and Charlie Team each team had two guys in it. Yeah. All three teams were parachuting in at slightly different intervals. You had to take over these guys on the way. You could... One team was supposed to get in the back of this truck that stopped at a checkpoint. Yeah. And then you get into this <clears throat> area. You've got to destroy a helicopter, pick up some code sheets, and destroy a satellite building. That's it. Yeah. And it is in, like the maximum graphics you could have was 640 by 480 and my computer could only run it at like 320 yeah ridiculous <clears throat> but that mission I'd love to see that mission parachuting in six guys taking on some like Middle Eastern sort of looking guys <clears throat> really good mission yeah, I, can the I, other can, one can I get one in just because yeah yeah but I've got one more after this but yeah on. Um, time split is two. Oh shit me yeah time split is I reckon this guy's probably like this guy isn't going to like some Call of Duty style shit here. So <laughs> maybe we'll get some Battlefield sort of missions in here. Now we're going old. Time split is two. Probably Commandos beyond the Call of Duty. Probably one of the Actually, first first missions with the dam. I can't remember that one. What? Or if you played it on hard mode, you'd end up fighting against like an, an Apache at the end. I can't really... Because was, there was like no real storyline, were there? No. You, like, just you were just jumping through all sorts of shit. Yeah. Yeah. The one I remember most is one... We got two P90s. It's in Shaun of the Dead. He's like top left. Yeah. We load all that sort of stuff. That is the one that I remember. And one where you've got flamethrowers and there's calamari going mental. I think you had flamethrowers. <laughs> and then there's one where you're in a big top at a circus and there's just zombies coming yeah. at you. I could never get past the two double-barreled shotguns and then some zombies were on fire. Yeah. That's where I learned the rule that never set zombies on fire because to a zombie you are a meal. Yeah. To a zombie on fire, you're a cooked meal. <laughs> now you know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! <laughs> you have no idea about that, do you? Not a clue. Sweet. So carry on, time split is two, the damn mission. Yeah, that it? No, no, that's pretty much it. I just thought it was awesome, and it reminded me a I'll lot, a lot of um, the James Bond with the Golden Pierce, Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. Yeah. Just very similar kind of. Oh yeah, man! It's that same feeling, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh god, yeah, man. I went back and played that a little while ago. Yeah. Doesn't quite <laughs> really hold up. I'd like to see it run through Unreal Engine. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Have you seen that? There's a GoldenEye update being done through the Unreal Engine. Is it? Yeah, they've done. Is it Complex? Uh, what's the one called? That one mission that everybody played Deathmatch on. Oh god! Another, another one, you mean? Yeah, <clears throat> but it basically just—it's just like a floating camera that goes through that, and it is lifelike. Wicked. Team Fortress, the original. But Team two, Fortress two, classic. Two, yeah. uh, two forts. Two forts. Oh! Yes. How perfect would that <laughs> be you. for us? Oh. We were sat around one time. Something that should have been a podcast. We were like. If I won the lottery, the airsoft site I would make... This is a question for another time. Um, if I won the lottery, the airsoft site I would make. But the one I was saying is... There's a factory in Ferngore. Right. Do you know where the gypsy sort of... Yeah, 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 yeah. That factory that's been empty for like about a decade. And it's got a sign on sign. For rent. Mm. Well, we were saying we just need one big hole. Maybe, hopefully, there's a big hole in that. And what we do is... We just build like a wooden maze with a fort at either end and just build like two fort. 
some like raised foot. raised platforms yeah. that you can go across and some tunnels that you can go under raised platforms at either end as well yeah yeah it's not sniping. and then you've got like a fixed weapon platform it's as well great screen to go red when someone's sniping you. <laughs> <sighs> that'd be so amazing so yeah to finish that off uh couch bear it'd be really old games that you probably never heard of no no never know although the division division yeah. yeah the division he's probably he's, he's definitely yeah. playing the division yeah division's a solid answer right oh the resident evil mansion sort of scenario that'd be an awesome one where yes. it's actually you've got a instead no, of just written... like force on force where it's Don't... limited supplies limited ammo and stuff and you've got to fight your way through this house even even like mm. the underground complex of the, the umbrella laps yeah yeah god sweet AJ, would you least recommend? Pardon me. Well, I don't, well, I don't know who asked that. Some, and I remember somebody asking me, "What is the AEG you would least recommend?" Up until last week, it was my G and G L twenty two. L twenty two. The L eighty five shorty. It's an absolute fucking nightmare. It's it seems to be running great now. <laughs> it was. I, I, I shouldn't really like off suppliers. It's not very professional. No, no. Um, it was just it was firing rounds out of the box it was like round down dribble around out two rounds sort of spit around dribble what the fuck is going on we, we finally got the thing working and then it was like running crazy FPS and then you fell on it and then I fell on it <clears throat> I've painted the fucking thing so a little uh, word of advice kids pro tip if you are going to spray paint your entire rifle, mm -hmm. don't spray paint your magazines. No. Or the magwell. Or the magwell. Or both, as I did. Yeah. <laughs> you can see in one of the videos in this very room where we had to... Like, he, he was on the mag, giving it all out. I was on the gun like... Ugh. Yeah. Then the pizza arrived shortly after that. Mm. Good times. Oh, 80 you'd at least recommend. Oh, not recommend. There's a few... Some of them that this are, this fucking thing the M14 EBR. So this here is the M14 EBR by Cart, or in this sort of setup is the M39 EMR. Fuck. <laughs> is this very rifle has has belonged to three members of CBMPC now? Yeah. Started off, Scott bought it brand new. I believe this is one of his um, bought from China efforts. <laughs> And then Standing bought it off Scott, and there was a really funny moment where we were trying to take it apart to sort it out, and we couldn't get all the way in, and I was literally just holding it by the outer barrel, and the whole thing just fell the fuck apart. I don't think your head's even in shock. No, it wasn't. I was just yeah. so pausing. Then Standing sold it, and then Elliot went to buy his SPR back from the guy he sold it to, and this was sat there, and he's like, yeah, I'm having that. The only reason I recognise it is because... Stannon's retardation. Yeah, it, there was like a hundred magazines with the thing and I was like... Yeah. And this whole situation. Yeah. And it was fucked. Yeah. So it was like, that's Stannon's old gun. I love that. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend this based on the fact it is... I mean, the normal M14 isn't too bad. Just got one line about the studio. <laughs> that thing's huge and it's so heavy and that... It's so unbalanced yeah, as well. This is so much more balanced. Yeah. Sorry, microphone. I don't know. Maybe the real deal is good, like the, the Japanese-made one. But I've I've never had my hands on what, so I couldn't really. The, uh, the actual legit one. The actual legit one. There's a few different versions, and one of them, like the rail. I'm pretty sure it comes all the way back here, and it's got four rails on the front. Yeah. And I think that one is supposed to be considerably lighter. But I don't I know. I mean, who knows? Maybe the stuff coming out of China now is a lot better than it was. Yeah. 10 years ago well it, it is few and far between nowadays really yeah man right. like the SP, D, D boys I haven't found a D boys gun anywhere in the, no yes we were looking for that for the SPR yeah that's how I, that's how I come to buy the thing yeah yeah cause well, like, oh man that front end's sexy oh, I want that <laughs> yeah I want one of those front ends for my current DMR project cannot find one anywhere I found... should, we, should we pull it in shot see if we yeah. can get anyone yeah. with any interest yeah so if anybody's selling any m14 parts 
Yes. Or any M4 SPR parts, hit us up, man, because... We need them. Yeah. So, yeah, the plan is I'm going to build uh, just an upper for my ICS M4 that I can switch out. So it's going to be 420 feet per second, restricted, the low is going to be restricted to semi anyway, and it's going to have this upper on it. So the big monolithic top rail and this awesome round, just scaffolding pole of a front end. Yeah, it's all, but, yeah. it's all janky as hell, held together with like a nut. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, just pure fucking faith. Yeah. Hopes yeah. and dreams. Can we just, just give that cock, <laughs> cocking handle a try, man. Just so, remember, kids, when using the charging handle, was that an upside down as well? No, it was right. No, way. it was right way around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like the pistol grip either. No, do you? I really just like the pistol grip on this. I really like it. I just have the normal M4 pistol grip and a retractable stock because I think these these stocks are just a bit big for me. Yeah. Yeah, that no, was just right for me. Because I even my retractable stock, I don't have it out, so I have it about there. Mm -hmm. So when I've got my plate carrier on as well, it's yeah. So if you're out there and you've got, I mean, any bits at all for an M14 that you want to sell, get in touch. If you have one this of these front end, that particular this front end with re this rail, really get in touch. We 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 want those get bits. Get the fucking touch. Yeah. Yeah, you can have the back shot. Thank you. So yeah, the guns I would least recommend. That trigger discipline on there, man. Beautiful. And this thing's dead as fuck. So, man. <laughs> so, Academy. A company that very few airsofters will recall. So Academy, back in the day, we're talking 1999, 2000, were the kind of cheap China soft of, of the world. Yeah. They made plastic bodied copies of Marui, but the gearbox was all one thing, so the motor was permanently attached, and it was a really shit motor. Uh, fixed hop up. We're like on here with the receiver, like on the Marui M M16s and M4s, the receiver would open up like the ICS one. Uh, it was all just one solid piece. And same with our MP5s, everything was just like a clamshell design really really poor the magazines were a different sort of size just slightly different than any yeah. other magazine so you could fit them sort of into if, other magazines if you held it at an angle as well yeah but you couldn't fit anything else into an academy and i've had two of them they are shit probably collector's items now <laughs> so yeah probably genuinely yeah so i wouldn't recommend those but something more modern oh god see g and g guns uh, the, I, I find them really hit and miss. I've had an L22, but I didn't really use it that much because that was when I was having a bit of a hiatus. I bought the gun thinking, I'm going to buy this and then I'm going to get back in and I'm going to skirmish like every week. Mm -hmm. I had that gun for a year and didn't skirmish it once. Sold it onto Des. And then... I think that's just become a decoration piece for him as well. Yeah, he's it? used it. Is it? Yeah. But the, other, the only other G&G &G gun I had was, I believe it's called the GR16 which is their version of like an M4. And I bought it, I'm fairly confident I bought it brand new. So, took it out of the box, went bang, 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 bang. Brilliant, put it on automatic. Bang, 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 bang. What was it? Never once ever works on automatic. I don't know why I didn't just return the fucking thing. But you know, you're like, nah, I can fix this. So I took it apart. When I took the gearbox out, if I just attach the motor to it, you know, you could just screw the pistol grip to the bottom yeah. of the gearbox. Boom, 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 boom. Fine. Take it apart, put it in the receiver, Something put everything back together. Earthing, wasn't it? No, it was just, it mustn't have been in, I don't know what it was. So I got pissed off at it because that were back at the high, nowadays, that wouldn't bother me because I haven't used automatic in a game in like years. So it would have bothered me. It wouldn't bother me at all now. Automatic for life. Yeah. In fact, it would have been good because I would have like, turn this on to DMR, turn it 400 feet per second, brilliant. That's a net new feature we need to discuss because I know nothing about MOSFETs and DMRs and so on. So Yeah, yeah. Continue. So, took it apart, God knows how many times, got really pissed off with it and I put it on the forums for like quite a bit less than what I paid for it. Probably about, 
I think I pay like 200 and I put it up for 150 or something like that. I'm going to guess what happened. You sold yeah, it yeah. to someone. I sold it to somebody. He got it out of the box. Perfect. Yeah, so he sent me a message like a couple of days later going, oh, mate, this, this gun's arrived and I'm really sorry to tell you this. I'm like, no, don't tell me it's broken into a million bits in a box or so much shit like this. He goes, no, 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 it's fine. It, it just works flawlessly as it should do. I'm like, you fuck. <laughs> I went mad at him. I was just mad at his cursed G and G gun. Yeah. So I swore from then on I'm not gonna buy any more G and G. And then I wanted the L twenty two and the only one I could find was the G and G one. Otherwise I would have gone for the ICS, but What was my L L eighty five A one? Was that G and G? No, that was um Army Armament. Oh, the R eighty five A one. That wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that great either. No, they weren't Army Armament weren't that good. No. I don't even think they're around anymore. No. Yeah. Any other guns you wouldn't recommend? Any of the other Roy's guns that you'd think uh, uh, wouldn't, the... wouldn't touch that with a fucking barge pole? Plumber, Scott, and Chef all have the Keimer MP5 <laughs> folding, like, UMP stock. And they all bought them from the same place. They, they basically put a bulk order. They've all got the same primary, the same secondary. Because they're all like, we're getting back into Airsoft. Let's all just buy something. And they all bought the same thing, and all of them were doing like 370 to 380 feet per second. They, they found out after we went to SWAT, and we were just rushing about, and they didn't actually chrono for some reason. Oh, shit. And they were playing about all day, and then we came back to another game afterwards, and then they actually went through the chrono this time. And then they were like, oh, shit, these are doing like 370 to 380 feet per second. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, they're still pretty hot, so they haven't been able to use them since. Uh, any other, so, I, I don't reckon they're right guns. I can't, I can't really think of anything that... Oh. Just just that G&G L85, the L22 on mine, I'm just... It's just voodoo witchcraft. It's, it seems to be going all right. right it's built like a brick shit. Yeah, it's look felt, awesome, I fell but... right on the fucking thing. <laughs> and just snapped a foregrip which I added to it hmm. testament to the build quality yeah, of G&G. even the, uh, the the charging lever was still on the gun I, I thought that was the first thing I was going to come off when Des came over with bits in his hand I was like oh the charging lever does come off he's like oh foregrip I was like yes <laughs> my butt plug came off <laughs> yeah, my ass I need, we need to get some proper chairs yeah. and my ass is killing yeah. my numb as fuck oh. Oh, I can, I'm short than you so I can pretty much just stand up in front of this Yeah, yeah, yours is alright though. You've been sat on a cushioned chair. So, mm. for the record, like, <laughs> Mate. In, in my studio, I've got some big stools, which I use for the models. You see over there on the sofa, you, we could have got those, like, bases and put them on The here. cushions. Sat on. Maybe. So, I've got a settee over there. He's got my chair with a cushion on, and then I'm sat. Mate, this is hardly a cushion. This is just a bit of knitwear. <laughs> sat on my step stool thing. I never knew my real stool. Wait. <laughs> so you're in it? Get out. Get oh, out. It's my building. <laughs> Fucking awful. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> this is the longest episode ever, man. Just talking shit. Just talking shit. I might cut some of this out. It is half one in the morning, is and it, we're still recording the fucking park. Didn't we come here like half ten? My God. Oh, man. I think we should probably call this episode of the podcast yeah. right there. So, I'm a guys. I'm Elliot. Thanks for listening. This has been Balls Deep, the CBMPC TV podcast. And yeah, it's been pretty long this time. I think in the future we're going to try and keep it to about a half hour. Yeah, okay. So, if you please, have. Please give us your questions. More yeah, questions. If you have any questions you want us to answer or start answering and then get a little bit sidetracked and then <laughs> even further sidetracked and then completely forget to answer. Just drop them in the comments or yeah, if shout, you've got any shout, subjects you want us to talk about. Yeah, shout to Coach shout. Bear. You can send us another yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, like to our, our first question. Although we did, I don't know who asked that least recommended AG question. I think I just... <coughs> I just threw up in my mouth. Sweet. It, better than last week. We go, ah, ah, talking, choking yeah. on jalapeno. <laughs> So, yeah. Anyway, leave any questions, any suggestions, anything in the comments below. If you like the video, and if you made it this far, hit the <laughs> thumbs up. 
<laughs> if you want to see more random shit like this, hit subscribe. In fact, we should have a code word. If you made it this far through, type brown wings. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fuck. That was absolutely my camera telling me we've been recording for far too long. The camera just cut off. I was just about to say, if you have made it this far into the podcast, type brown wings into the comments. Yeah. I reckon even people who make it this far are not going to type brown wings into the comments. So there's no. not going to be a single comment. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to subscribe and we will let you know when the next video comes up. But this podcast goes live every Monday at three o'clock so come back sweet yeah anyway remember kids the air may be soft but our balls are hard <laughs> can't believe how many times that fucking camera cut off if anybody wants to donate an AOS camera oh, my ass <laughs> your ass my fucking ass I have a cushion on my chair mate I win way more than you I'm yeah like, but fuck. This is oh no that isn't yeah yeah, yeah that's just, just that's just wood with a kitchen towel on it. <laughs>